Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome to a brand new video in Forza Motorsport 7. Now in this video, we are going to be attempting to turn a Formula E car into a drift car. So, this is going to involve a lot of weird setup changes, it's going to involve a lot of weird tuning, and I don't know if it's actually going to be able to drift but when I say drift okay let me get my definition of drift or at least definition for this video of drifting out of the way so nobody gets confused basically when I say I want to make this thing drift I want to make I want to make it be able to hold angle and transition smoothly that is what I'm going to consider drifting in terms of this video so without any further ado let's go to the upgrade shop and see if there's anything we can do to like anything we can do to it before we go nuts so let's see race tires which we don't want and drag tires which we definitely don't want uh let's see right now it's a 305 in the back and a 260 not a 265 but a 260 uh in the front which is kind of odd but let's go up to the widest we can in the front to get that front grip. And then from there, we'll probably leave the stock wheels on it. Motor and battery. Let's see. Race motor and battery parts. That gives us 349 horsepower. But, but, the weird thing about that is that it's going to make, it, it makes the power band a little different. But not all that different since you have all the torque whenever you want it so we're not really going to have to worry about power band too much since we're dealing with an electric motor and that's not really the concern it, more the concern is just getting this thing set up properly so we're going to bias it to acceleration with like a 456 is where we're going to start out and in the front we're going to run about negative three and a half degrees rear i think i'm going to run about negative two and go toe out in the front by a couple of degrees. And then soften the front sway bar. This is a really weird setup for an open wheel car, but it might, might work. Let's see. Bias a little bit to the front. And breaking a little bit to the front. Now the diff. The diff is gonna be the diff is gonna be an interesting one because we're gonna go up to. I'm, I'm going to say 85 and then 75, which again is going to be really weird for an open wheel car, but who knows what this thing's going to do. I, I am, I, I'm kind of putting my, uh, putting my, putting my faith in it right now that it's not going to be just some weird, like, loony contraption that just goes all over the place and doesn't actually really have any control to it. But let's take it to, I want to take it to, mm, 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 mm. let's take it to Maple Valley. Because Maple Valley is like, Maple Valley is such a good testing ground for a drift car that it doesn't really matter what kind of drift car it is. If you take it to Maple Valley, like you'll be able to test it in tight stuff. You'll be able to test it in long sweepers. You'll be able to test it basically wherever you freaking want to because it's such a varied track there's so much you can do there's so much available there's so much at your disposal in terms of track dynamics that it's it really does a good job at, at being probably the best drift setup testing track that you can that you can use aside from you know aside from Jimmy Kaido of course back from a few a few games ago quite a few games ago so weird it not making any sound I mean, it makes a little bit, but not much. All right, and e brake and pitch it. Oh. Okay, uh, kind of, but also kind of weird. It, yeah, it's weird. It doesn't want to do this. It really, oh, it's fighting me a lot. It really doesn't want to do this. And it like, it, it's telling me that. It hates me for doing this to it. And it, it's like, you have screwed up and done it wrong. Not necessarily that I've done the setup wrong, but the fact that I'm using this car to drift, it, it th this car is bothered by that. It is weird though, kind of having all that torque whenever you want it. 
But also, the weird thing is that, like, obviously the lack of an engine sound is weird, but the the instantaneous torque, but it also, it doesn't matter really what gear you're in, since the torque is so... Okay, that, yep, we found the, uh, we found the point of, like, ultimate angle to where it, like, if you try to bring it back, it gets, yep, yep, if you go any further than that, it gets, like, it, it tells you no. It's very adamant that it's going to tell you no. I'm trying to put some more weight on the front. There we go. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, I didn't want to change any of the any anything on the setup for the first lap, at least. But, man, it's actually, you know what? When you get used to the, the fact that it's a little twitchy, and then you kind of, you know, a get acclimated to that... It's kind of decent, and now to be fair, this is not going to break any records. This is not going to go onto the leaderboards and dethrone S13s and stuff. But, but for drifting a freaking electric open wheel car, oh, it's it's not bad. I'm I'm actually really impressed that it's even doing this well. I didn't think it would let me do this, at least to this degree. I thought it was going to be a whole lot more temperamental about it. I, I, th I thought it was going to be a whole hell of a lot more temperamental about it, but it looks like we can start being a little bit braver in terms of in terms of w how hard we swing this thing around. All right, let's see what happens and oh. Oh my god. Oh, come on. The grip is really weird. We're still sending it, though. I mean, we are hella sending it. We're just like, I'm, I'm, dude, I'm just flooring the throttle and just hanging on. I'm hanging on, trying to keep some counter-steer momentum going. And, like, dude, it, it, it's at the end of the day, it is freaky weird. It is really freaky weird. But it does kind of, in a weird, messed up way, sort of work. And I'm going to go, yeah, I'm going to go to the interior view and see what I can do in there. Because this, this is going to be where it gets even weirder. Because you're not supposed to, like, you're not supposed to use an open wheel car, really, for drifting. And, of course, my mind then says, well, why don't we see if it'll drift? And, and that's, like, to be fair, that's just one of those things where you're like, you just want to see. You're just curious. And it, it, it kind of will. Like, especially from the interior view, like, you can see, you don't have, like, these cars are not designed to have much steering angle. So your angle, your actual slip angle is going to be decently shallow. But even, even so, even with decently shallow slip angle, with the race uh, motor upgrade, you can, you can kind of shred it around a little bit. And, wow, I screwed that up really badly. In a, in a stupid place, too. That was a really stupid place to screw up. Oh, come on. Come on. It's weird. It's like... It's it's kind of hard, too, because, like, so much of this is just full throttle because there's so much grip. I'm just going full throttle and ripping the e-brake, dumping the clutch, and I'm never coming off the throttle. I'm, I'm literally, like... I'm ne I haven't lifted yet. Like, I just lifted now, but... Like, e-brake, full throttle, full throttle, full throttle, still full throttle, still full throttle, still full... Ah! I should have lifted. See, I wanted to see how long I could carry it just full throttle. I mean, to be fair, you want some modulation. And when I do this, you know, when I do this and I'm really trying to get it down properly, like, I do modulate a, a good bit. But let's see. One more time with throw it in hard. Sent it that time. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, it snapped hard. Oh, my God, it snapped hard the other way. That was really hard. Come on, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Back, 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 back the other way. Oh, geez. Oh, oh my God, I cannot believe we kept our points on that. But I'll tell you something. It's not... It, it's it's like it's weird it's like it, it wasn't four wheels off it wasn't actually I don't even think it was three off I think it was two off oh my god I could have initiated that so much earlier it's just hard to keep the angle going because like once 
once the wheels are spinning at whatever maximum rate is that the electric motor will allow while braking traction, once you kind of run out of that, they will grip up again. And no matter whether you're full throttle or not, it's not like you can just hang out on full throttle and it'll just keep spinning the rear tires, which a lot of cars, like a lot of, you know, normal engines will let you do that. You know, as long as they have enough power and torque, they'll let you do that. This won't let you do that. It's, 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 it's a weird, weird sense. And that's why I have to keep modulating the throttle because I have to like, I have to tell this car what it's, you know, what it's allowed to do, basically. But at the same time, you kind of have to play by its rules. It, it's kind of strange. You can't really, you can't really, like, make up a bunch of rules for this car. You have to kind of play by its own rules within, of course, the idea that you're already kind of breaking the rules of a Formula E car by turning it into a Formula D car. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, wow. That was more than I... Yep. It's weird. It's like, again, like I said, like, you think, you know, street cars without angle kits don't have steering angle? This thing does not have that. It doesn't even have as much steering angle as, like, a factory street car. It's, like, it's very shallow. But, all right, let's go for one last lap. Try to make it clean. Oh, crap. Uh, I tried to send it fairly hard. You know what? You know what? No. Since that's the last lap, we get a freaking... I, I, I want to redo that. Because we had such a good entry. It's such a good feeling entry anyway. We need to track out much farther. And... Go, 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 go! There we go! We figured it out! You have to basically... Accept the fact that you've got all this extra grip, but take advantage of it. You you can and you can you can take advantage of it by tracking out like super far, way farther than you would ever think you would need to, or way farther than you ever would in like a normal car. But in this, you kind of have to almost start to figure out how to use the grip, use like all of its crazy grip to your advantage to slide it around, and that seems counterintuitive, but at the end of the day, one of the biggest battles in a, you know, with a, like, say, for example, like a pro drift car, wow, I screwed that up bad, I feel bad about that, Ugh. but yeah, like, one of the biggest, like, battles with, like, real pro drift cars, wow, I'm going off all over the place, oh my god, will you, okay, god, I need to, like, actually get back in the line, but good grief. But no, like, one of the biggest battles with actual pro drift cars is finding that balance between grip and slip because a lot of people think that, oh, in order to drift, you just want as little grip as possible. Done deal. Not the case. Not the case. You have to have a certain balance of grip and slip, and they're always trying to figure out how to get more grip out of those pro cars like in Formula D and stuff like that. I mean, they were having to run such low pressures that I was hearing that some of the tires were de-beating. So it's like, it's like one of those things where you don't really think about it that way, or at least most people don't. But then when you when you think about it more in depth, you kind of realize why you're like, oh, I get why they need this extra grip now. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of what we're running into here. And not necessarily running into it in a bad way, but like just kind of realizing that yes, it can do this. Is it made for it? No, absolutely not. But will it do it? It actually, oh boy. You know what, you know what, you know what? We'll get close to that, yes. And in true fashion, we will finish backwards. <laughs> But no, this thing actually turned out way better than I thought it was going to turn out. I thought it was going to be just kind of dumb, and it was just kind of want gonna gonna want to like like snap back into traction like immediately. Like it'll give you a tiny little bit of slip, and then like no, like cut you off. But it will with the tune we've got on it. It does move around enough to where you can get some smooth slides going, and if you enter properly. That's the big thing. If you enter properly, you can carry a drift all the way through that front sweeper and then transition it into the next corner. You can do it. And so technically, by my, by my uh, definition of what drifting is, can this car drift? Yes. 
It actually can. It absolutely can. And it's not what I was expecting, but it is definitely a weird one to add to my lineup of drift cars. Now, will I be using this, you know, if I want to, like, set leaderboard scores or something? N no, I, I won't. But if you want something silly to just play around with and you've got a Formula E car sitting around, dude... Build it for freaking drifting. It's a fun challenge, and I really enjoyed it, and I hope you guys will enjoy it, too. Feel free to copy the setup on this car, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to slam that like button. Tell me in the comment section below what y'all thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more daily videos like this one, and I'll see y'all next time. Talk to you guys later.